This time the quick speed shop, I want to put door handles on the outside of the Model A Hot Rod Shop truck. So here's my door, and you can see there's no door handle out here. I just used to reach inside. I've got bear claw door latches on this. I'll show you the inside of the door in a minute. And I just used to reach inside and click the door open. There's no windows in these doors. I've got a piece of uh, vinyl covered uh, wood here. I don't have any windows in these doors. So I would just reach inside and uh, open the door. And I just had a little knob stuck through the door panel. But I think it's going to be a little more finished and, and fun to have original style door handles. So I've got this random handle. It's not a Model A pickup handle, but it's similar. And I've got a pair that kind of match, so I'm going to use these for now, and maybe I'll find some correct ones later. But anyways, these are pretty much real simple door handle. So let's have a discussion about the escutcheon. So here's the handle, and here's where it would bolt onto the door like this. Two screws, hold it in there, and there's a little spring-loaded... Uh, action here so this just mounts to the door and you turn down it turns the flat stock or square stock and it operates the door so what I want to do is punch a hole in the door skin over here and stick this through and through the magic of door action check this out right now these doors swing all the way around backwards the door handle will come through here and here is the bear claw door latch here can you see it? Yes, you can. So right now I've just got a, uh, I used to have a knob on here and it just pushes down and it opens the door. And you can see this, this can either be set to pull or push down. So what's going to happen is when the door handle is mounted on the outside of the door, the square shaft is going to come through and I'm going to have a little lever arm little lever are mounted off the side of this and it's going to bolt down into here with a little linkage so when you turn the handle down uh, well here when you turn the handle down click it'll push down and open the door so I've already figured out where I want to drill this I'm going to go ahead I'm going to punch a hole through the outside of the door into here and we'll get a couple screw holes we'll get the door handle mounted up and then I'll start making a linkage down here to operate the door latch so here I want the uh, the discussion to be right up against this body line is where I want to do it. So I'm just going to take my little scale, lay this up here and measure over. Looks like if I make the center of hole an inch off the door frame that way, I come down and put that there. But I've got a piece of. I'm going to come down an inch and three quarters and in an inch so let's see inch and three quarter and then one inch inch and three quarter gives me my placement I got a special cutter I'm gonna re uh, cut a three quarter inch hole in because I've got to accommodate the square stock in when I weld the, the arm on to actuate this. So I'll make it out of a three-quarter inch uh, flat stock and I'll be able to take it and stick it through a three-quarter inch hole and roll it then push the door handle in and then it'll uh, allow me to do that. So I've got to bore a three-quarter inch hole in this door skin first and then we'll mark it in, uh, for the two screws and get the door handle mounted up here to the door skin. All right, to drill this hole I'm using this rotor brooch uh, sheet metal hole cutter and it uses a center punch. You just need a center punch your hole, which I've done. And it's got a spring-loaded spring pin that pushes out of the way, and it holds it centered as you push, and then it allows the hole to be bored in the door or any piece of sheet metal. And uh, these are pretty handy. I've used them to do a whole bunch of drill, and they're super sharp and make a nice hole, so we're going to use this. Here, let's throw it in my standard drill. Here we go. Take my center punch hole and I'll hold the pin in it. Bam, just like that. I bored a perfect three quarter inch hole right in that door. So now, here we go. Bam. Perfect. 
So you can see here with the door handle placed. Now I can take the uh, uh, marker and I'll mark the two holes, but we'll, we'll get the door handle mounted up here. You can see how it's going to function. It'll be mounted here to the door and when you open it, you turn this down about that far. It'll click the door latch and it'll open up the door just nice. Make sure the discussion is centered up on the center part. And then I'll do a little vertical. Here, I'll just fill it right in. So now I'll get the, uh, I'm going to use two 10 uh, 24 screws, or a 1024. I'm going to use two 1024 screws, and I'll get this door handle mounted up in here nice. Here, and then we'll uh, fit the inside. So I'll drill those two screw holes out, and then we'll check it out when I get done with it. All right, bam, look at that. The door handle is installed. And uh, just loosely on here, but you'll go click, and it'll, it'll open the door. And this will ride just like here. Like a factory look, this, this handle is a little bit bigger than a, a 20, 29 pickup handle, which is more like a rectangle, a little bit shorter. But they pretty much all use the same uh, scussion mount style here. So this will be good enough for what I'm doing. A little custom action here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. All right, so now with the door handle installed here like this, I've simply got to cut a piece of flat stock, which is going to weld onto to the square shaft of this, come over here so far, and then it'll come down with another piece vertically that will tie in. Well, this will just bolt together because i got to have movement, so it'll be a bolt up here and a bolt down here, and it'll essentially have a uh, action, action, action. So when I turn the handle down on the outside here, if this is mounted, it'll push this down, and then it'll push this down and unlatch the door. So I'm going to make it out of a three quarter inch flat stock and I'll drill them both. This is a quarter inch hole. I'll drill them both for quarter inch and use some quarter 20 bolts to hold it together. And it should work flawlessly. So here's my, uh, my operating arm here. It's just made out of a piece of three quarter inch flat stock. I've also shortened up the, the uh, square part of the door handle to get it back behind my door panel. So I'll just weld this on here on the end and then they're this is drilled for quarter inch bolt, and a piece of flat stock will go between here to here, and it'll bolt together and be my linkage. It works! Bam! Here's the, the linkage roughed in here. Say I welded a little piece of flat stock to the door handle up here, and then uh, when I put this together, I'm going to use these quarter inch bolts, but I'm going to use nylock nuts so this can't loosen up. But I've cut a piece of flat stock here, so all I do is go click and it opens the door, bam. Then when you close it, it uh, goes back up. If it doesn't, yeah, it returns up there. If it doesn't return all the way, I can always add a spring off here to, I can, a little tab to pull back and, uh, that would help help it work, but I think it'll be alright. I've tried it a whole bunch of times and it usually returns like this. It's all everything's a little sloppy, but when you slam the door it usually shocks and it goes it springs back up, so it works good. So I'm I'm pretty happy with how it works now. And I'm gonna go ahead and I grind all the sharp edges off this this metal around these edges over and uh, paint this up just like flat black and I'll put a little grease between these two and some nylac nuts and to hold this linkage together and then I can replicate it on the other side. Door handle project really came out how I want it to, do, to be. It works out fantastic. Look at that. Bam. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the one on the other side but the uh, door handle slash latch assembly on the Model A truck is complete. I'll just clean up the inside of the action and I get it all painted up and I'll move on to the next thing which I'm not sure what it's going to be but you'll have to come back in the next video and check it out. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hit the bell for alerts. Tell your friends. And as always, we'll see you right back here at the Quick Speed Shop for more Model A Hot Rod Shop Truck action. Check it out. It works awesome. Bam.